Question is, a scrum team has been working on a product for several iterations and has an average velocity of 55 units of done work per sprint. A second team will be added to work on the same product. What might be the impact on the original team? Option A, their velocity is likely not affected and will remain at 55. Option B, their velocity is likely to drop and be less than 55. Option C, their velocity is likely to rise and be more than 55. Correct answer is option B, their velocity is likely to drop and be less than 55. Next question is, what would be the two boundaries defined in Scrum that give guidance for teams to effectively self-organize? Choose two options. Option A, time boxing the events in Scrum to allow for regular inspection and adapting creating opportunities to adjust course in any given path. Option B, clearly define unfunctional teams within the development team to define handoff phases during development. Option C, creating an integrated and potentially shippable increment by the end of each sprint. Option D, having a mixture of different levels of skill and experience to promote domain knowledge sharing. Correct answer is option A and option C, time boxing the events in Scrum to allow for regular inspection and adoption creating and creating an integrated and potentially shippable increment by the end of the each sprint. Next question is, Peter the product owner has been giving positive recognition to individual development team members who have moved their work to done during the daily scrum. Peter wants to ensure the team is adhering to the ideal guideline on the burn down chart. What would be two valid actions for Steven to the Scrum Master to take? Choose two options. Option A. Steven talks with Peter about concerns of how this behavior might impact the team members and requests that he stop attending for now. Option B. Steven coaches Peter on best practices for updating the burn down chart as it provides accurate information on how well the team is performing. Option C. Nothing. Steven is optional at daily scrum and it is the responsibility of the team to decide how to best run it. Option D. Steven coaches the scrum team about the purpose of the daily scrum. Correct answer is option A and option D. Steven talks with Peter about concerns of how this behavior might impact the team members and requests that he stop attending for now. And Steven coaches the scrum team about the purposes of the daily scrum. Next question is, a scrum team has requested a hardening sprint to integrate the work produced in previous sprints and test before releasing. What three scenarios has likely occurred? Choose three options. Option A. The team's definition of done is not being adhered to during every sprint. Option B. The team's definition of done, done is weak or incomplete causing a buildup of technique technical debt. Option C, the development team is having difficulties with the ability to regularly release during a sprint. Option D, hardening sprints are supported by the Scrum framework so this is acceptable. Option E, Scrum has been customized in a suitable manner to make the previous work releasable. Correct answer is option A, B and C. The team's definition of done is not being adhered to during every sprint. The team's definition of done is weak or incomplete causing a built up of technical debt and the development team is having difficulties with the ability to regularly release during a sprint. Next question is, which three statements best describe the purpose of having a definition of done? Choose three options. Option A. It is a checklist to monitor the development team member's progress on a test, on a task. Option B. It provides guidance to the development team when they are forecasting their sprint backlog during the sprint planning. Option C. As the development team is doing the work, it provides guidance on the remaining work needed to create the potentially shippable increment by the end of the sprint. Option D. It helps the development team defer any pending work to subsequent sprints. Option E. It creates transparency and provides a common understanding of the done state of the increment and the sprint review. Option F. 
It helps the scrum team decide how much time is needed before the sprint can end. Correct answer is option B, C and E. It provides guidance to the development team when they are forecasting their sprint backlog during the sprint planning. As the development team is doing the work, it provides guidance on the remaining work needed to create the potentially shippable increment by the end of the sprint and it creates transparency and provides a common understanding of the done state of the increment at the sprint review. Next question is, successful use of scrum dependence depends on how well people behave and act in ways that reflects the scrum values. What can the value of openness affect? Option A, collaboration effects. Option B, level of product quality. Option C, team member happiness. Option D, time to market. Option E, trust from stakeholders. Option F, all of the above. Correct answer is option F, collaboration efforts, level of product quality, team member happiness, time to market, trust from stakeholders.